this, the king of diode lasers. What up y'all, the Jeff Wilson here. Today on the Jeff Does What, we are testing out the Xtool D1 Pro with the 40 watt diode laser and the extension kit. Now you might ask, why am I doing Xtool now? Well, Xtool is the leader in diode lasers. You're talking 40 watts of power. They've been pioneering the diode lasers, especially with power, you cannot beat it. 40 watts is one of the most powerful diode lasers that there are on the market. And all their frames, all made out of aluminum alloy with steel rollers, which definitely helps out with that longevity of this. Get this all unboxed and put together. Now, as we start to unbox this, a lot of this, this is our initial D1 Pro right here. Now, there's several things we're not going to use on this. Due to the fact, we have the extension kit and we upgraded from, this is their 10 watt, to the 40 watt. As you can tell, there is a huge difference right there on size. Now, with that in mind, we are a lot of these components we're not going to be able to use because we are upgrading them to something that can handle a lot more powerful and make this thing just unbelievable on how thick it can cut. So out of our first box, which our 40 watt laser came in, we also got the bar that the laser head is going to sit to and move. So this one right here, we're going to go on and set it aside because we're not going to need it. Also, we have a new motherboard, which will replace this as well. So that way it knows it's recognizing the, the bigger 40 watt laser. And then we have our extension kit where we go from the, this rail to this. That way we're able to cover a whole lot more area, get a lot longer parts or objects in there so we can engrave on, cut on, whatever we're wanting to do with this diode laser. put together now this was actually a pretty bit of a chore putting together compared to most lasers this is one of the most complicated lasers to put together but it also has a lot of stuff going on especially by the time you add in the 40 watt the extended rails and the air pump Now, one of my favorite things about this laser is the work area we have with this. We're talking 16.9 this way and then 35.7 this way, which if you're working on this, that gives you plenty of room to do most projects for the home or DIY is wanting to do. And also, I mean, you can move this once you have your registration for out where you can make bigger projects as to move with what you're doing. Now to start things off, I like to see how pictures work on this. I'm using their software over here. Would have it more in frame, but I need to get a little bit longer cord for my new work table in here. But I'm doing a little picture on here just to see the detail I can get just using a simple piece of wood. I want to set that off in here. Get it all framed out. I 
Also, even though we are just running engraving, I still like to have a little bit of airflow just to push that dust around. So I am turning on my air as well. Now we just got to start it. Here we go. We did get lots of great detailing, especially off in the background. Now, that did take 31 minutes for us to run that. And that's just running directly through the program. No editing at all done to the picture. That is right through Excel's creative space. Now it's time to do some test cutting on here to see what this can actually do. I know you can, there's tons of videos out there where they're going through going setting by setting. I just like to jump dive right off into it and I got a nice little complex image that I think will work out pretty well. All we gotta do now, hit that start button and let her go. before I show you the product I wanted to show you this it was on the actual D1 Pro for an hour and a half and this is what we made all quarter inch These pieces are just pushing out with ease that are still stuck in there. Granted, most did fall out. Now this right here is exactly why I'm a fan of this 40 watt already. I mean, cut out great detail. Granted, it did take an hour and a half, but look at all this small, intricate work right here quarter inch wood quarter inch plywood which is heavily with glue in there 
Trust me, I know I've cut out many things on this plywood, and I've had to go back and go over it twice on some other lasers. Not this one. One pass, cut out everything, perfect. I mean, couldn't have asked for more. And there's actually still a whole bunch of stuff on this laser I've yet to even touch on. Like, anti-tip, anti-fire. Or the fact that it can get around 340 different colors on engraving on stainless steel metal. But that actually is a little chore on getting that to all work out right. But Excel, they do make it fairly easy. There's a lot of settings online from all their tech support they do have with this. Now granted today, I was only using their Excel Creative Space. This also works with Lightburn, which is my preferred program. But I wanted to use their program to show you how easy it was to use. Like I said, there was no hiccups, no issues. I imported some files I created back off of Corel Draw and imported right in. Just fine on that cut file. Now, if you're wanting this laser that's able to reach 0 0.01 millimeters in accuracy or over 100,000 sliding times, I do have an affiliate link down in the description. It does help me out. Xtool didn't pay me to do this video, but they did give me this laser to test out. And I want to thank them for sending this over because this thing is a beast so far. And I'm actually going to do several more videos coming up. Like I said, the next one we have coming up is going to be sh showing you how I integrate this into my production here at the shop. I got something where I'm needing a third laser going non-stop. And this right here has the power and the size able to compete what I need it to do. With the Pro model, you got to remember, it also has a four-way limit switch, so the machine will trigger an alarm if the laser is about to touch the boundary of the machine, which can help out, especially when you're working with some of your bigger objects, especially a lot of stuff I like to do. And then you got your easy focus. That's all it is to it. Especially once you have your whatever under material underneath there. Lines is up real quick. At this time, I need to ask you to hit that subscribe button so next time you tune in to Jeff Does What, you actually see how we put this unit into full production here in our shop at Texas Laser Works. Because I have a whole idea on what I want to do with this machine, and I'll bring you all along for the journey. So now, if you're wanting to see more of this, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And help share this video around. It definitely helps me out. As always, y'all take it easy. Uh -huh.